Amen. Let me just start off tonight um, and just state to you kindly, you guys, thank you very much. God richly bless you. Let me say to you that you, you, you get used to a man of God speaking about a changing season. And for some of us, it becomes a slogan. Whatever you fail to connect, you cannot collect. I pray someone is hearing me. I arrived here on Wednesday and this morning went in to pray because the whole night I had been waking up and praying and waking up and praying. And I woke up this morning and I intended to spend the whole morning in prayer. And after I spent a couple of hours, it was like, I'm done. And I thought, no, I haven't finished praying. And the Lord said to me, no, you're done. I was a bit concerned, went back into my study uh, midday, and I really just wanted to spend time praying. <laughs> and the Lord never allowed me. The Lord said to me, no, you just finish doing what I instructed you to do. And just go and minister to to my people i'm going to minister today something whose content i have possibly hardly ever ministered i want you to catch the spirit of a new season because for you to become a dominator to walk in dominion requires a different mindset you cannot access tomorrow thinking about the way you were doing today and so let's talk tonight about the spirit of a dominator we see that when god created men he placed in men authority and the authority he placed in men was the authority of a dominator Genesis 1 verse 26 up to 28 so God said let us make men verse 27 so God created men in his own image and verse 28 and God blessed him or blessed them and God said be fruitful multiply replenish the earth subdue it have dominion over the fish of the sea the fowl of the air and over every living thing that moves upon the earth dominion is not something that men goes and prays for it is something that men must understand and walk into. You can pray for dominion the rest of your life until you die, but never walk in it. Because dominion is not a gift from God. It is something already given to you. It is the same as praying that you may breathe. You only pray that you may breathe if you are sick. If you are not sick, you never pray so that you may breathe. Dominion is the same. Dominion literally means to rule. To prevail against. To prevail. It means to reign. I want to welcome those of you that are joining us via the live stream service. Uh, I know Johannesburg are uh, meeting at the facility, at the church. Our building god richly bless you the grace of the lord shall be with you tonight and so we find after the fall of men that men gets restored by the second adam and the restoration of men is actually the restoration of authority it is not the restoration of the miraculous because elijah who was not in this covenant walked in the miraculous it is not the restoration of feeling good of having the blessing elisha abraham david solomon walked in the blessing and yet they were not in the covenant that we are in what god restored back to you and me is the authority to become a dominator and my prayer for you tonight is that you may catch this that you may understand this that you may not just hear a good message but that when you leave this place today a decision would have been bent in your heart to decide never again 
Am I going to live dominated? Please take your seats. Matthew chapter 28 verse 18 And Jesus came and spoke to them Saying all power is given to me in heaven and in earth Go ye therefore and teach all nations Baptizing them That is the demonstration of authority Go ye therefore And teach all the nations Baptizing them in the name of the Father And of the Son and of the Holy Ghost Teaching them to observe Everything I have commanded you And lo I am with you All ways even to the end of the world amen and mark records the same thing mark chapter 16 verse 15 he said to them go into all the world and preach the gospel to every creature he that believes and baptized shall be saved but he that does not believe shall be damned and these signs will be the testimony of the dominion that you are walking in I, 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 I was I was standing outside our property today on the lawn with our two puppies Bob and Molly and we uh, 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 the, the, the just playing with the dogs there and this woman walks by these puppies are this big she walked on the other side of the road there is something very serious there on Tuesday, I had a man of God, an apostle, visit me at my lodge in Johannesburg. And he came as we walked into my lodge. He had the backing of dogs. And those were the dogs of the owner of the property. And he just said to me, man of God, are you? Yeah, are there dogs here? I don't like dogs. What he meant is I'm afraid of dogs. Yeah, I, you, you, you can't say you don't like. You are afraid of dogs. I, I assure you are hearing what I'm saying. I'm not afraid of the things I don't like. I don't like golf. I'm not afraid of it. I don't like your silence. So the power of a kingdom is seen by its level of dominion. Nations spend so much money on defense. Our country is one of them. We spend so much money on buying weapons instead of paying the civil servants and instead of building houses for our people. Don't know who wants to attack us. Why do nations do that? Because nations understand that in order for you to have dominion, you ought to be armed. Just tell your neighbor, neighbor, you ought to be armed. Therefore, the power of an individual society or an institution is seen by its ability to subdue the things that oppress and trivialize the gifting and callings that God has placed inside people. Anything on this planet that trivializes your calling. Anything on this planet that causes you to fail to reach your full potential. We have children right now that we are sending to university. We have children right now we are sending to high school. We have children right now we are sending to primary school. Why? Because an enemy called poverty rose up to challenge oh i don't think anybody's hearing me that enemy is dominating the family when poverty dominates you simple things become impossible life is an arena it is where the knowledgeable survive and the ignorant die the authority of a dominator is partly the power to know what god's will is that's why the bible says you shall know the truth and the truth shall i didn't hear what you said not set you free make you free make you free and set you free are totally different and so when we look at our bibles we find different types of dominators the bible speaks of adam genesis chapter 1 from 26 to 28 we read there and the bible says so god created man in his own image in the image of god created he them and god blessed them and said to them be fruitful multiply replenish the earth subdue it have dominion that was god's instruction to adam what about israel to Israel, Deuteronomy chapter 11, verse 22. For if you will.
diligently keep all these commandments which I command you to do them to love the Lord your God to walk in all his ways to hold on unto him then will the Lord drive out all these nations from before you and you shall possess greater nations and mightier than yourself because tonight after this convocation every nation that stood against you every calamity that stood against you every sickness that stood against you you must dominate it with power please take your seats what about joseph the bible tells us how he dominated the pit he was thrown into genesis 37 verse 28 then they passed by midianite merchantmen and they drew and lifted up joseph out of the pit sold joseph to the ishmaelites for 20 pieces of silver and they brought joseph into egypt there is no indicator anywhere in the bible that joseph in the pit was discouraged disheveled and that he was dominated no he was not dominated even after they had taken his coat of many colors how i pray that god would raise up dominators in this conference men and women whose worship of god is not defined by circumstances please take your seats he dominated potiphar's house chapter 39 verse 2 and the lord was with joseph and he was a prosperous man and he was in the house of his master the egyptian and his master saw that the lord was with him and that the lord made all that he did to prosper in his hand and joseph found grace in his sight and he served him and he made him overseer that's why i keep telling you when you continue working for foreigners all your life you must know you are dominated joseph arrived in egypt potiphar promoted the stranger to manage his own countrymen somebody shout power my god my god my god take your seats let's go let's go he dominated the prison chapter 39 verse 20 and joseph's master took him put him into the prison a place where the king's prisoners were bound and he was there in the prison but the lord somebody shout back the lord was with joseph why was god with joseph because joseph had learned how to dominate one day as a small boy he rose up from the dream and he went and he told his brothers one day you will bow down to me hallelujah today is a day when you need to look back at your brothers and tell them you will bow down to me please take your seats the bible says that the lord was with joseph and he showed him mercy and gave him favor in the sight of the keeper of the prison and the keeper of the prison committed the prison to joseph are you sure you are looking you are hearing what i'm saying when you see yourself you've been working for a company 10 years you are still a clerk it's because you are not a dominator this does not come by prayer it comes by application stop praying and start dominating stop fasting and start dominating oh i pray someone is hearing please take your seats before i came here we were at the national gallery with my wife they got in touch with me about two in the afternoon and said mfundisi please we know it's short notice there was one of the artists who got shot and killed and i i didn't know about it and got in touch with me and said please is it possible you could come and share a word of encouragement and i said only on condition it is done before quarter past six and he said no that's five 
that's fine. Would cut her to six suit you and I said, that's fine. Said, how long do you need? I said, only 15 minutes. I then said, if you're able to give it to me a bit earlier, even better. I preached less than 15 minutes. I was done. My purpose there was to go and the minister encouragement. Are you sure you are hearing what I'm saying? Now, this is a gathering of all the artists in Buluwayo. Artists are a different breed of people. So why did I go when I have a conference here? Because that's my responsibility to my city. Oh, it's okay. Why do you think in a city with thousands of pastors, they asked me? You want me to be snotty nosed and say, oh no, I have a conference. Of course I have a conference. I didn't even know the man who was in charge, uh, Stang Udrojo, stood up and said, the prophet, by the way, actually has a conference right now. So I was surprised he actually knew about the conference. And he said, so, as soon as he's finished, please, we are going to have to release him because he is going to a conference. You and me have got to stop living this life like a chicken Christian. You've got to stop hiding your Christianity. You've got to stop hiding your testimony. The Bible says they overcame him by the word of the Lamb and by the by the blood of the Lamb and by the word of their testimony. How is it possible to say your testimony and no one knows you? Are you sure you are hearing me? Please take your seats. Let's finish. He dominated the palace. Chapter 41 verse 38. And Pharaoh said unto his servants, Can we find such a one as this man is? A man in whom the Spirit of God is and Pharaoh said unto Joseph, For as much as God showed you all this, there is none who is as wise as you are. You shall be ruler over my house. Rule my house, then rule parliament. He said, No one will make a decision without consulting you. A foreigner. A foreigner. <laughs> The spirit of dominion is yours this weekend. I said you must weigh him like the oil of God upon your head. When you walk into situations, they must know dominion has just arrived. No more being a victim anymore. No more being ostracized and shamed. That is not the portion of the people of God. Please take your seats. They said all oh, the country, the country is going bad. Mfundi said our churches, we are not even collecting money. The offerings have died. I spoke to the people here. The reason I put that TV behind the cameras is because Sunday. There will be no way to sit inside here. When did I know this one month ago? People are saying downsize the budget. For so when they say there is a going down. <laughs> take your seats. The Bible speaks about a man called Moses. He escaped Egypt as a fugitive and came back as the master. He went away as a prisoner and came back as the king of Israel. My God, oh, I love dominion. I love the power of dominion. The Bible says in Exodus chapter 5 verse 1, take your says, And afterward, Moses and Aaron went in and told Pharaoh. Pharaoh did not say, but are you not the one who killed someone? They went in there and said, Pharaoh, uh, the God we serve, said, I must come and tell you, let my people go. 
Say, Moses, are you starting a political party? Say, no, I'm bigger than a political party. <laughs> I am here by divine unction. I am here by the oil of Jehovah that is upon my head. I came to tell you, let my people call. That they may worship me in the wilderness. And I came here by the same unction and mandate. To tell you that your life will never go backwards. To tell you that what they said you couldn't do, you will do it now. Somebody shout power! Take your seats. Take your seats. Bible says, Exodus 7, 16, you shall say unto him, the Lord God of the Hebrews sent me, saying, let my people go. We don't have time to talk of Elijah and Elisha. Elijah and Elisha, 2 Kings chapter 1, verse 10, say to the captain of 50, this is Elisha now, if I be a man of God, let fire come down from heaven and consume you and your 50 men. And they came down fire from heaven and consumed him and his 50 men. This is the time, ladies and gentlemen, of the book of Joel chapter 2. The Bible says it shall come to pass afterward at that time that I will pour out of my spirit upon all flesh. Your sons and your daughters shall prophesy. That's why this weekend, some of you, the spirit of prophecy is coming upon you. We don't have time to talk about David. Psalm chapter 3 verse 4, he says, I cried unto the Lord with my voice and he had me out of his holy hill. I laid me down and slept and I wept for the Lord sustained me. I will not be afraid of 10,000 of people that have set themselves ag against me round about. He says, Arise, O Lord my God, for you have hit, attacked all my enemies and hit them on the cheekbone. You have broken the teeth of the ungodly. They can't bite anymore. How did they manage to bite you? God has already broken their jaws. Psalms 23 verse 4. Yet yeah, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I shall fear no evil. For thou art with me, thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. Thou preparest a table before me in the presence of my enemies. My cup runneth over. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life. Take your seats. Pastor Magonia came to me yesterday and said, Prophet, they have been tearing our posters in the city center in Entumbane and in Chabalala. I was so excited. I, I, I have not been that excited in a very long time. When you see your enemy agreeing with you, it's because you are now like your enemy. Why are they not tearing all the other posters? <laughs> Why are they not removing all the other things? Because by the mantle of Jehovah upon this altar, the blind see, the deaf hear, the dead are raised. Power has come into the city. Take your seats. Let me give you just quickly. What is the spirit of a dominator? What is the spirit of a? We don't have the time and I. Normally when this happens, I don't know what to do because I, 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 I have three messages I need to, to go through. What is the spirit of a dominator? Let, number one, the spirit of obedience. Somebody shouted, the spirit of obedience. The spirit of obedience is the spirit Israel refused to harness. And instead of being one of the largest nations on earth, they are one of the smallest because they refuse to obey i pray someone is hearing me please hear me isaiah chapter 1 verse 19 if you are willing and obedient you shall eat the good of the land 
But if you refuse and rebel, you shall be devoured with the sword. For the mouth of the Lord has done what? He has spoken it. Please hear me, God's people. Obedience releases authority. Please hear me. In a company, when they have two employees, an employee and an employee who works by the rules, which one do you think they promote? The calamity we have today is that in the church today, we have people who with split personalities. They are one thing at home, one thing at church, one thing at work. So, the people who know them know three people. But they are one person. You cannot obey unless you have integrity. The word integrity comes from the Greek word integer, which means to be one. A, an obedient person is always one. You can rely on what they say because it's not going to change tomorrow. Oh, who am I speaking to? I said, who am I speaking to tonight? Yeah. Romans chapter 5 verse 19 For as by one man's disobedience many were made sinners so by the obedience of one who is Christ Jesus shall many be made what? Russia's dominion came how? By obedience. Yeah. Romans chapter 6 verse 16 Know ye not that to whom you yield yourselves servants to obey whoever you obey you become their servant whether it is of sin to death or of obedience unto righteousness righteousness means right standing it means you are standing right with the lord there is someone who seeks there and the lord says my baby there is such and such a person there sick there i i don't want anyone sick none of my children must be sick tell them call them and pray for them please hear me hear me my son, teach them prosperity. What is prosperity? Bring ye all the tithes and all the offerings into the stores of God. People have been going to bed after midnight here. Wake it. Men, women, look how beautiful the place is. In life, you learn one thing. They are the eaters. They are the workers. Are you sure you are hearing what I'm saying? When you allow yourself to be the worker, heaven is my witness. I have never met a worker who failed to access the blessing. Are you sure you are hearing this? Take your seats. Let's run. Uh, Deuteronomy chapter 28 verse 1 It shall come to pass If you will hearken diligently to the voice of the Lord your God To observe and to do all his commandments Which I command you this day That the Lord your God will set you on high Above all the nations Of the earth If I tell you <laughs> What the Lord said to me Yesterday We were praying in there The ladies were busy cleaning The men we have been working tirelessly for over a week. Men were busy working. I stopped them. My Machungura was leading worship, a, 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 a prayer. I went and I hijacked a prayer meeting for a while. We got there because in my spirit, the Lord said to me, no, gather everyone, pray together. The purpose of that prayer was so that everyone who was there can link in into the spirit of prayer. Please take your seats. Take your seats. I want you to see this. And so we began to pray. And the Lord said something, unfortunately, I can't really uh, share it with you right now. It was just a single sentence. I have given you. Ta, ta, ta. I knelt down on my knees. Knelt down on my knees. Lord. This year which conference do you know of well on the first night of the conference you had the whole place full but i told you this 
a month ago. When others say there is a going down, your responsibility is to say, them not me. Oh, did you hear what I said? Them not me. Oh, we will not buy houses. You not me. Cars are expensive. To you not me. Right? We are not going to have a democracy here. If you don't have the covenant I have, you cannot speak the language I speak. Take your seats. Let's run. Ephesians chapter 5 verse 6 Let no man deceive you with vain words For because of these things comes the wrath of God Upon the children of disobedience For rebellion is as the sin of witchcraft And stubbornness is as iniquity and idolatry Because you have rejected the word of the Lord He has also rejected you from being the king Why was he rejected? Because of the opposite of what? Of obedience Ladies and gentlemen Obedience to God and to his word forms the foundation of dominion. When you can obey the word of the Lord, you know the foundations of dominion are now set. You can stand in that place. You can, after you have heard the word of the Lord, Father, your word says, suffer not a witch to live. Your word says, I wrestle not against flesh and blood. And this person has threatened me. Tinabanya Sasuel and Jumuntu Umuntu Agabu and Jaga threaten and Jemichan. I mean, just a threaten and a threaten and Mutagat. You'll bury that person within seven days. Number two, number two, a pew. And a humble heart. I told you I'm going to be teaching you things I have never taught you before. The foundation is obedience. Second thing is a pew and a humble heart. And this refers now to Joseph. I said the first one, obedience, referred to what Israel rejected. Number two, a pew and a humble heart refers to Joseph. You cannot overcome an enemy operating on the same terms and as level as them. You find pastors praying for people and they are not getting healed. How are they going to, how are they going to get healed? The pastor, the person, the demon are all operating at the same level. There are times when this my daughter, when I, when I asked for her and she was there, as she came, something on the inside I felt Russia's anger Russia's anger when she was coming here what she saw you can ask it what she saw was fire what she saw it was as if she was looking at a lion are you sure you're hearing me you cannot heal what you cannot feel Are you sure this is making sense? Joseph refused to block God by being bitter or carrying a grudge. Psalms 24 verse 3 Who will ascend up to the holy hill of the Lord? Who shall stand in his holy place? He who has clean hands, a pure heart, who has not lifted up his soul in pride, nor sworn deceitfully, he shall receive the blessing from the Lord and righteousness from the God of his salvation. Matthew chapter 5 verse 8 Blessed are the pure in heart, for they shall see God. Are you sure you are hearing me tonight? Young people. Please hear me. This commission here is not a commission where you come to find boyfriend and girlfriend. I've been looking at some of you. You are always timing yourself out to go and sit with particular people. Deal with it tonight before I deal with it publicly for you. Not in this commission. Elsewhere, yes. Not in this commission. You didn't come here to find boyfriend, girlfriend. A 
And parents, there is no boyfriend, girlfriend unless the child is in university. If they are not in university, use a horse pipe. Please take your seats. Lepakas funi bumbu. We are not investing what we are investing for people to play games. Work is about to start at the destiny center. That's the, the, the young people center. Uh, we, we, we already half their sound system is already there. And, and, and you think we are going to be playing games. No, we are not playing games here. Psalms chapter 34 Psalms 34 verse 15 The eyes of the Lord are upon the rushes. I'm bending my voice here because of your settings. And his ears are open unto their cry. The face of the Lord is against them that do evil. The Bible says the face of the Lord is against them that do evil. Moses, the greatest leader on earth after the Lord Jesus Christ was described in the Bible says now the man Moses was very humble more than all the men who were on the surface of the earth. Why do you think God used him the way he did? No ears, no trying to not, we, we went to the market yesterday I was feeling like a true African yesterday. I am a true African by the times when my African anointing just, just manifests with authority. We went, bought oranges, bought mbambayila, bought umsosobiyane, eh, 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 what else? I can't remember what else we bought. It was amazing at the market. People say, Dinjan in fundis. Asiapila mama Dinjan. They didn't even know who they were. When you flew to Melama Portica, you were going to Mbambayila. How do you expect Ukokoluana to meet with grace? Spirit of a dominator is the spirit of wisdom. Wisdom is the ability to discern in a utilitarian sense to have insight. In other words, in a practical sense to have insight. Wisdom is that which the Lord gives and is mostly associated with an area or a body of expertise. Exodus chapter 28 verse 3 Speak unto all those who are wise-hearted. Did you know that when God built the tabernacle through Moses, you only had one qualification. <laughs> wise-hearted and skilled. The Bible says, speak to those who are wise-hearted who are filled with the spirit of wisdom that they may make Aaron's garments. To consecrate him that he may minister to me in the priest's office. It is impossible, ladies and gentlemen, to operate at the very basic level of life and knowledge and dominate any area. If you operate at the lower level, you will never dominate. You know my pain when I, when I particularly visit business premises of my, my sons. Now I've stopped. I avoid visiting people's business premises. Because I find it mostly depressing. Find it absolutely depressing. When people have no sense of excellence, I find it depressing. excellent. 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 I call excellent and Look at your neighbor. Say, neighbor, dominate. It's needed to win in sport. It is needed to excel in ministry. It is needed to make marriage work. Raise up sharp, intelligent, smart children. You need wisdom, not luck. Are you sure you are hearing me? It is the basis of selection into godly ministry. Because